Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Bhupesh from Dr. BKM Institute. And today, the letter which we are doing is a very special letter to me, as I always say whenever this letter comes, that this letter is very, very special because in this particular letter, the word count normally goes above 300 and we are allowed to write only 200 words. The best word count in OET is 195 to 205 words. This, this can be the best word count, 195 se leke 205 tak. And if you write more than that, 220, still you will manage to pass if, it, if there is no grammatical mistake. Third thing, the word counting would be from body of the letter. This letter is being written se leke last tak. Jab space de ke aap line likte ho, should you require further information, feel free to contact. This line is not counted. So basically this letter is being written se leke, I am writing this letter se leke last tak, but jab space chhod ke likte ho, should you require further information, this line is not counted. But this letter, it's very unique. Please understand, if you will understand this letter, you will not have problem of the word counts. This letter is very, very important. And whenever I do this letter, I always say this. Because this is what has taught me OET as well. So always remember that there are multiple visits. So the last visit is very important. Last visit always has the purpose. Because whatever the patient is facing today, we are facing, we are sending the patient to doctor or to any person today because of because he is having some problem. So today visit tells the purpose of the letter. So in this case, we are referring the patient to gastrointestinal surgeon for assessment of operation. So no abnormality fine, now asymptomatic, but continue to take regular omeprazole. So he's asymptomatic now, but he has to take regular omeprazole. She wants to stop therapy. Taking on board the lifestyle changes, so she had made lifestyle changes, has stopped smoking, worried to take tablets for the rest of the life, so that is why she is being referred to you. So main thing is she is now asymptomatic, but continue to take omeprazole and now wants to stop therapy. Also, she is worried to take the tablets rest of the life. So she is being referred to you for assessment, for operation, yeah, for fund duplication. So that is the purpose that basically now patient is not interested in continuing the medications for the rest of the life. So he wants to go to GI for assessment of operation. So this is the purpose. So if I have to write the purpose, this can be this simple if I tell you. So this can be this simple. So first paragraph would always be simple. This letter is being written regarding Mr. X or Mrs. Y, who is Mr. X. Mr. X who was diagnosed with main diagnosis after treatment his condition is better after treatment he is asymptomatic but he needs to take regular omeprazole So, usko regular omeprazole nahi hai, but dobara lagana pade. However, however, he is not interested to take the tablets for the rest of his life, and also wants to stop therapy. Hence, is being referred under your expertise for assessment of for assessment of fund duplication. So this is the point. Agar aap show niyo ki iske stop therapy ke karan hence aega, to bas yahan pe likdo now. Kyunki main is letter mein show nahi hu. कि उसको मेडिकेशन रोकनी है इसलिए फंड ऑप्लिकेशन करवाना है या एक ऑपरेशन करवाना ही पड़ेगा सो आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट दिस थिंग सो आई डू नॉट टेक एनी चांस 
so rather than hence i have written now he is being referred forgive me for the spelling mistakes so this is the first paragraph perfect paragraph this letter is being written regarding this person this and this now the, let's see the last paragraph from the same wording again last paragraph would be today and i have told you today's visit cannot be skipped so today last paragraph also we will see the patient is asymptomatic so this is the last paragraph i am telling you it is almost going to be the same asymptomatic and has made has taken on the board yeah and is taking jo likha hai is mri ng laga dete hain why to take this whatever has been given we will use the same thing. and is taking on board lifestyle changes he has stopped smoking and every line does not need along with this 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 is going in a flow and is taking on the board lifestyle changes he has also stopped this will make it very better stop smoking and abhi tak sari positive baatein hui hain ki usne sab kuch kar diya but now he is worried take the tablets for the rest of his life and also he has reported so add these word to paraphrase so that that is what is going to make it different from the first paragraph so i will also put first paragraph over here so that you guys do not have any problem that how we can make it different so we can make it different this way so these are the two paragraphs so there there would be a bit of difference between the two but it would be almost similar paraphrasing and also he has reported that he wants to stop therapy कोई मिस तो नहीं हुआ नहीं सब कुछ आ गया ऑन असेसमेंट नो एबनॉर्मेलिटी सो आई विल एड दिस लाइन जस्ट टू मेक श्योर दैट इट इज डिफरेंट हैज बीन फाउंड थोड़ा मेरा टेंस भी आ जाएगा सो ऑन असेसमेंट नो एबनॉर्मेलिटी हैज बीन फाउंड एंड ही नीड्स टू बी असेस्ड and duplication for which your expertise will be highly appreciated so the two paragraphs just paraphrased almost same so these are the two most important paragraphs of this letter that should have the maximum words so always decrease the word count now let's count the words sorry let's count the words 1 almost words and abhi humne kuch words kam bhi likhe almost 50 words 1 2 3 4 5 so 110 words almost are gone maybe 120 are gone now we are left up with only 80 words or maximum 90 we can reach up to 210 so now we do not have option so please understand that you have to deduct the data from here only from social history medical history so the second paragraph would be mr jo bhi naam hai is a heavy smoker this is the most important thing i would like to tell you in the last it says that he has stopped smoking so that mean this line will be contradictory because on the second paragraph you are saying he is a smoker and in the last you are saying that he has stopped smoking so it will become contradictory so if you say mr x used to be a smoker this will fetch you means that will take that can this only grammar can take you to 401 you might you might impress your examiner with this thing only this is such a special thing so he used to be a heavy smoker 
then the then straight away combine this thing and on his first visit which was on 18th august he had severe discomfort in abdomen only right one two symptoms or other than simple say on assessment don't waste any word you know each and every word is special because letter on assessment he has been found with dysphagia due to either hiatus hernia or other organic lesions means we were confused ki ye dono ho sakte hain and the possible diagnosis was explained to usko kaha bhi possible diagnosis ye lag rahi hai either you are having hiatus hernia or you have having organic lesions in the esophagus so we advised him to so he was explained the diagnosis possible diagnosis and was advised to stop smoking there is another special point this letter is very important i am telling you there is another special point in this letter that this is either due to this so he was assessed with dysphagia don't say suspected he was assessed with dysphagia which but the other way don't change it don't change it so due to either this or this so but you don't have to say suspected because dysphagia is sure so you should say assessed only so this is also simple then you go to the next visit so you combine the same visit in the next visit he was assessed with hiatus hernia or mass in esophagus so cxr ecg endoscopy and biopsy so out of these tests only these two are important because these will confirm the diagnosis so don't say this only mention the things which are important so on next on next visit which was on 20th he was assessed with hiatus hernia or mass in ear figures to yahan pe aap assessed ki jagah suspected likh sakte ho kyunki yahan pe aur diya hai so on next visit bas aur kuch nahi likhna jo main bol raha hu utna hi likhna hai koi symptom nahi kuch nahi aapko pata hai bada hai on following visit he was suspected with either ye this is this word is very important either hiatus hernia or esophagus or mass in esophagus for which he was advised to please understand the wording and write it yourself so on the following visit he was suspected with either hiatus hernia or mass in esophagus please put it as or or mass in esophagus for which this is the connector that should be used for which he was advised to undergo endoscopy and biopsy then you straight away say on third visit he was diagnosed with jo bhi main problem thi he was diagnosed with dekhte hain kya hai barrett's esophagus rather than directly saying you can add couple of lines on next on uh, third visit his endoscopy revealed i'm just going to clear it please understand so third paragraph so combine all these things combine all these things write very less because these are not important then on third visit his endoscopy revealed esophagitis and stricture or otherwise only write esophagitis don't write any difficult word so only write esophagitis and his biopsy was also consistent with esophagitis so he was assessed with barrett's esophagus write only important word so then a plan was created to make lifestyle changes such as to quit smoking drinking alcohol and stress also gaviscon and omas omeprazole were prescribed and he was advised to repeat endoscopy in 6 to 8 week time ye wale line malignancy wali koi baat nahi likhni today he is asymptomatic and is continuing to take regular omeprazole but now she wants to stop therapy she is taking on sorry this letter is all about she so she is making lifestyle changes and she has stopped smoking but worried to take the tablets 
now she is being referred to you for this thing so basically what i have told you that in this particular letter why it is the most unique letter that the right diagnosis has been made matlab hame iski third visit mein actual diagnosis pata lagi hai ab please understand karna main aapko ek cheez bata raha hu suppose aap ek senior specialist ko milte ho jaise ki gi surgeon ko आप उसको कहते हो सर फर्स्ट विजिट में पेशेंट आया था हमें लगा ये है हमें लगा वो है और हमने ये कहा सेकंड विजिट में पेशेंट आया हमें लगा ये है हमें लगा हमने वो वो कहा सर थर्ड विजिट में ना पक्का पता लग गया बैरेट सीजो फेगस है डॉक्टर कहेगा अच्छा तो बैरेट सीजो फेगस ठीक नहीं हुआ इसलिए मेरे पास भेज रहे हो तो आप कहोगे नहीं नहीं सर आज का लेटर डिफरेंट है आज बैरेट सीजो फेगस के लिए नहीं भेज रहे क्योंकि बैरेट सीजो फेगस भी हमने ठीक कर दिया है वी हैव सोल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम वो कहेगा मेरे पास क्यों भेज रहे हो आप कहोगे टू असेस फॉर फंड ऑप्लीकेशन देन डॉक्टर विल टेल यू इफ यू आर सेंडिंग द पेशेंट फॉर दिस फंड ऑप्लीकेशन सो गिव मी द डाटा ओनली आफ्टर द थर्ड विजिट आई डोंट नीड दीज टू विजिट वेयर यू वर नॉट एबल टू डाइक सो दैट मीन्स यू कैन डिक्रीज मैसिव डाटा फ्रॉम फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड विजिट दिस इज वट इज स्पेशल अबाउट दिस लेटर दिस इज वन एंड ओनली यूनिक लेटर इन ओ टी जिसमें थर्ड विजिट में डायग्नोसिस हो गया और हमने डायग्नोसिस के बाद ट्रीटमेंट भी खुद ही दे दिया बिना स्पेशलिस्ट के और वो ठीक भी हो गया बट हम क्योंकि ये डॉक्टर का लेटर है तो मतलब जीपी ने इसको ठीक कर दिया है एमबीबीएस डॉक्टर ने बट लेकिन उसको जीआई सर्जन के पास हम फंड अप्लीकेशन के लिए भेज रहे हैं तो एम डॉक्टर ये नहीं बताएगा कि सर पहली विजिट में ये हुआ दूसरी विजिट में ये हुआ ऐसे हुआ वो बताएगा सर थर्ड विजिट में मैंने इसको डायग्नोज कर लिया था इसको बैरेट सीजो था फिर मैंने इसको मेडिकेशन वगैरह दी थी सब ठीक हो गया लेकिन अब इसको ये करवाना सो दैट इज हाउ यू विल मेक सिंपल सो दिस डाटा दिस होल डाटा इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट एक्चुअल पेपर में क्या होगा मैं आपको बताता हूँ कहाँ पे आपको केयरफुल रहना है एक्चुअल पेपर में आप यहाँ से शुरू करते हो तो ये सारा आप लिखने की कोशिश करोगे डर के मारे आउट ऑफ फियर यू विल ट्राई टू राइट लोट ऑफ थिंग्स फ्रॉम यूर लोट ऑफ थिंग्स अगर आपने इस विजिट में से टोटल टू विजिट में से एट्टी वर्ड्स भी लिख दिए तो भी बहुत ज्यादा हो जाएंगे क्योंकि मेन विजिट ये भी तो बतानी है ना जिसमें आपने उसको डायग्नोस किया एंडोस्कोपी और एंडोस्कोपी अगर बताओगे तो ये भी बताना बहुत जरूरी है कि एंडोस्कोपी के लिए हमने रेफर किया था सो दैट इज हाउ द होल लेटर ऑफ इट इज ऑलवेज इंटरकनेक्टेड सो दीज थिंग्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट so mention only the right things important things and out of these two visit decrease as much as data you can so this letter is a very special letter which tells that when it comes to important things when it comes to very important things ki jab visit mein aapko third visit mein pata bhi lag gaya and you have given the treatment patient is all right सो यू डो नॉट टेल डॉक्टर को पहली विजिट में एक्सप्लेन करके दो वो कहेगा छोटा छोटा बता दो मुझे पहली दो में क्या हुआ अच्छा तीसरी में बैड सीजो फिगर नाउ यू हैव डन वेल एंड यू आर रेफरिंग द पेशेंट टू मी फॉर फंड अपलिकेशन डन आई विल डू दैट सो ही रिक्वायर्स डाटा फ्रॉम यूर थर्ड एंड फोर्थ विजिट विच इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड यू कैन टेल दैट डॉक्टर साहब ही हैज स्टॉप स्मोकिंग सो दिस इज अ वैलिड पॉइंट फ्रॉम द सोशल हिस्ट्री प्लीज डो नॉट राइट एनी थिंग एल्स दिस इज अ वेरी स्पेशल लेटर एंड दिस इज डॉक्टर भूपेश फ्रॉम डॉक्टर बी के एम इंस्टीट्यूट नाउ आई विल टेक यूर क्वेश्चन so even the people on the youtube if you have any questions you can leave the comment or uh, question on in the comment box thank you so much our contact number is 7696734256 thank you